Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Veda and today I'm going to be making some dark academia witchcrafty DIYs just for fun but I thought I would show you and bring you along for like a fun autumn night. It's currently like 8 p.m. and I'm about to make myself a hot beverage. The very first thing I did was really pour myself a hot beverage. And then I also made a little container of black tea. I used a tea that I just don't really like the taste of. It's, well, it tastes fine. It smells like a barbecue and I'm not for that. So I thought I would use them for crafts. I started with that so I could let the tea steep and get really dark before I used it to stain my paper. But in the meantime, I just kind of did this little decoration thing. I took an old wine bottle and a candle and I started melting the wax on the sides. This would happen naturally if you just lit the candle inside of it, but the candles that I have just kind of melt abnormally, so I wanted it to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I always melt a bit of the bottom of the candle just to make sure that it doesn't become an extreme fire hazard and fall out while it's burning. I actually had two wreaths that I was going to make. The small one I was going to make into a tiny crescent moon, but then I set it aside and forgot to do that. So instead I just did the big one, which I turned into a pentagram for my door. You could definitely embellish this way more, but I didn't really have anything to embellish it with. So I just kind of left it simple and I quite like it. This is a ritual oil, which I will be using for practical things, but if you don't practice witchcraft, you can still make this as just a decorative item.
Um, you probably shouldn't do what I'm doing here, which is using a lit incense stick to push the ingredients down. Um, I don't know. It was in front of me and that's, that, that's what I did. I'm sorry. When my paper was dried, I began cutting the smaller bits into squares. I had this idea to make tiny envelopes that I could then decorate and embellish with some cute little vintage looking things. On this, I decided to put a few little quotes from a letter that Virginia Woolf received. I love Virginia Woolf and I just wanted to make it a little love letter. I think it would be really cute to seal something super sweet inside of these envelopes, so in case Maybe in the future when you forget that you put something in there, you might find it or somebody else might find it. But I actually didn't have anything to put in them, so I, I just sealed those babies shut. This next one was really fun to do, but it was a little bit of a fail because I kind of did a few things wrong. I first of all painted my hand to stamp onto the paper and it didn't really work, I had to do it twice. And then even then the hand wasn't really what I was going for, so I just ended up painting it basically entirely. <laughs> I used acrylic paint just so I could make it fun and layered. In order to write palmistry, I went on to a font website and just looked for really cool looking fonts. I picked one out and I just started kind of imitating it. After I had written it in ink on my paper, I realized that it was kind of pretty much the Harry Potter font, which I was very upset about and that's not really what I was going for, but I couldn't really go back after I had written it in ink. To write on the hand, um, I used a Jelly Roll white pen.
Oh, and by the way, this is my kitten Jasper. Oh, and that's Ostara, and she actually looks like the mask from Scream. <laughs>